Hey guys, we're here at OTPH, one of the coolest little bars and coffee bars here in Old Town Cornelius, and we're getting ready to shoot a lifestyle shoot. Uh, we have a unique situation in here in that it's kind of dark back here in, in the actual space, and we have this really big, bright window behind us. So we're gonna show you how to light that and get a cool looking lifestyle shot. Now, another thing about lifestyle shoots that's really important is you wanna have people who are photogenic and comfortable on camera, because you're gonna ask them to do a lot of stuff, pose, talk, do different things, and you want that to look good for your shot. So we are very fortunate today to have with us Trip Jordan and Wendy Jordan. Now, Wendy, I have worked with for a long time. She does a great job. She does a lot of commercial modeling gigs for me. And uh, I just can't say enough about Wendy. You know, she's fantastic. She's spot on all the time. And, and then we have Trip, who's, where's Trip? <laughs> Trip? Oh, you need me now? Dude, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Yep, but it's on tap. But I can drink we're, it. But I'm we're good. doing a photo shoot. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll come I, back. Can you, can I, yeah, can yeah, I, yeah, let, let me have that. Let me have that. Okay, right, I'll bring my coffee in. Go, go ahead, go ahead, thank you, thank you. All right guys, so the first light we're using is a one by two strip box. Uh, we've got diffusion in there to kind of diffuse the light a little bit, make it a little softer on the talent. And then we've got a grid in here so the light doesn't spill too much side to side. We don't want that blasting out the back of the person sitting on this side of the table, uh, but we do want it to give a little bit of edge light for that. The second light we've got is a parabolic dome. We're also using a grid here because we want to control that light spill. And this will light the talent on this side of the table and then also serve as a backlight for the talent on the other side. And the reason I chose to use a dome and then also use a strip box is that we had female talent on this side. I wanted to use a broader, more beauty light. Uh, and we had male talent on the other side where I like the look of a strip box and the way that lights um, for, a, for a man's face. So that's a personal decision. You guys could light these with different modifiers. The main thing here is make sure that you keep it in such a way, uh, you know, gridded or controlled so it doesn't spill too far and ruin the rest of the shot. And then the third light we have is a fill light. You know, we've got these two gridded lights up top, so that's gonna control the light spill down low. Uh, so we're not gonna get as much light on the sides and the lower part of the talent as we want. So we've added a light to the bottom and that uh, is shining through this diffuser to kind of diffuse that light and it's turned down really low. So it just gives us enough light to see some details and, uh, and balance out the rest of the shot. And you can see back here, we've just got a light with a seven inch parabolic uh, going through the diffuser. All right, for the camera settings today, guys, I chose F2.8 because I wanted there to be some fall off uh, in focus in the background. Um, and since I chose F2.8, then I had to set my other parameters to, to balance out the ambient the way that I wanted it. So uh, we shot at 1 1 60th, um, which, you know, can stop a little bit of movement, plus the flashes will do that, because anytime you're doing a lifestyle shoot, um, you're gonna have them moving and doing things and, and trying to look like they're uh, in a natural conversation or a natural action. Um, and then once we set those, uh, to get the ambient where I wanted it exposed, uh, I went to ISO 320. But again, all these are arbitrary depending on what you're doing. Um, you, can, you can dial up or down any one of these depending on what you, uh, what you want your image to convey. And our lens today, as you're gonna see in a lot of my videos, is the uh, 85 millimeter f1.2 from canon this is one of my favorite portrait lenses uh, it's just super sharp and the fall off is fantastic on the focus the bokeh is great uh, i highly recommend it all right guys that's how the lights are set up let's go ahead and get a shot and see how it looks all right yeah so you can see guys we got a great shot here we've got good facial expressions we've got uh, we got the lighting balanced out nicely. You're able to see, you know, our, our subjects still pop off the background, but you're still able to get the idea of where they're at. We haven't lost too much of what's coming in the windows, so uh, I think that's gonna work great. All right, guys, so you saw how we set up the lights and we were able to balance that out, but still get kind of a dramatic and interesting looking shot. Uh, and of course, with great models, we're able to get a great shot, great expressions on the face. So guys, remember, you guys can do this too. If you're gonna be creative, you gotta kind of put yourself out there and try these things. Uh, find good people to help you out and get out there and keep shooting. So guys, remember. I can see what he's doing. So guys. <laughs>